as I'm sure many of you are already aware, virtual reality is most enjoyed when there is a certain level of immersiveness. However, a headset alone is not always capable of giving you that immersiveness. Sometimes it comes down to the secondary peripherals, like maybe a driving wheel or whatever it is you're sitting in. And that's what today's video is all about. Let's start with the Stilo Virtual Reality Racing Helmet, shall we? As you can see from this picture next to me, it looks a lot like the real thing. Primary difference, though, is that it does not have the same level of protective foam that you would expect inside the real thing, thus protecting you from, you know, head injury in the event of a crash. However, in light of that, though, you will still be able to get the next best thing, and that is a simulation of said track. However, still the primary setbacks in that set setup, though, are that the only known compatibility with this headset, or helmet, I should say, is the classic Oculus Rift. With future cuts, however, with hope, more compatibility can be added with either the Oculus HTC Vive, Oculus Rift S, maybe even the Quest, or the PlayStation Virtual Reality headset. And in the event you do decide to go, the, go with this option, this helmet alone will run you 300 euros. And when adjusted for conversion, that'll run you approximately $450 US. So, I'm not sure whether or not you're willing to go the extra mile to add to your immersiveness using this helmet, but with any luck, it's going to be worth your money. Then, let's talk a little bit about movement, shall we? That comes down to two very specific flavors. You could either teleport everywhere and slightly spin in relative angles, Sometimes as little as maybe 15 degrees. Or you could turn gradually and move gradually using your joysticks and whatever other locomotive options are available on your tracking controllers. But now there seems to be another option in the works. So far, the wired option for the 3D rudder, which I'll be talking about here in a sec, has already been on the market for a while and it has aided in the immersiveness of said movement, allowing you to be able to physically walk and physically teleport, if that's what you so desire, within each of these games. And that wired version has been compatible with both the PC VR options as well as PlayStation VR. However, what I'm here to talk to you about today is the wireless option that's going to be launching at the end of the month, on the 30th. The newest model is being dubbed the Pro Wireless and is expected to cost as much as $200. And, well, wireless itself is kind of a strong word, but by wireless they mean that it's not going to have to be connected directly to the headset. It will still have to be connected to the computer itself, but not directly to the headset. So you will still be able to get a high level of immersiveness, and you'll still be able to walk everywhere and teleport everywhere while still ha allowing all of your movements to flow freely. But it, it won't actually require connection to your headset and everything will be connected through a single cord. A single USB 2, surprisingly enough. If you guys want to support me, blah blah blah, Facebook, blah blah blah, YouTube, blah blah. But if you guys want to do something more courageous, something more giving, something that will actually net you some good karma at the end of the day, just head on over to HumbleBundle.com. They have all kinds of bundles on different kinds of stuff, whether it's TV, books, music, games, whatever. Not only is that stuff discounted, but a lot of the stuff you end up getting from there will support a charity. The month, the featured charity this month is called Child's Play, 
which improves the lives of children in hospitals and other childcare facilities through the power of play. So, regardless of what you decide to get, should you decide to get anything from that website, you will be supporting a charity in doing so. So, I, I personally think that's really cool. So, the, the link to that website is in the description down below. Just head on over there and pick something up for yourself.